So in our previous video, we looked at how to prepare network data shared and then how to build the network and uh, data shared as well. So today we'll be looking at how you could use all of those things we've done so far to um, do the following. Well, note that before your network analyst will work, you have to get, we'll be using the network analyst tool, which you come on this blank space, not this white one, not this one, but this. You right click on it and then you scroll down, use this down button, then you see this network analyst, you bring it out. Okay. Now, for this tool to be active, it requires that you must have turned it on. Uh, when you come to costume, and then you come to extension, it has to be turned on, network analyst. Now, any of, if it's off, let's off it and see. Automatically, you see that this will go off. So make sure before you start, you have to turn this on because you'll be wondering why you, everybody is going and then the, your own is not doing. So you take note of that. So these are the two things you need to take care of first. So first and foremost, we'll be looking at on this video, we'll be looking at the new road, the new route. Okay, so once you click on the new route, it's going to bring out this. Once this is bring, brought, uh, brought out, the next you do is you come to this one here that has a flag and something like a sheet of paper. Okay, so you click on it and then it's going to bring out the route. Now, here is the little things you need to understand about this whole thing. Let me off this route. It's disturbing us anyway. So, um, now what do you need to understand about this uh, data to use? You know, we're using the road, and then we're also using some of the language. And then here we have stop. Stops means where you're beginning from and where you're stopping. Okay. So let's take for instance with the data I have here, the the red signify um, supermarket, the yellow signify hotel, and then the blue signify um, a hospital, right? So those would be my stuff. For example, let me paint a scenario. I enter Abuja and then I lodge in a hotel okay let's check what's the name of the hotel i lodge in okay i lodge in a con hotel and then i'm um, to see someone what takes me to abuja is to see a sick person so i wanted to go to a shop right get something that i will go and see the person in the hospital so what i want to do now is which route should i take which house is the best that i can take and get there that's a topic we are working on today so um let me bring this back these are all the roads we're using so um we already have what we needed so under these stops right click on it and then you load locations so the locations will be okay i'm moving from the hotel nikon hotel and now okay then i right click again and load locations this time I'm going to the supermarket, which is the shop right. Okay. Uh, okay, then the last location will be will be me going to the hospital finally to see whoever I want to see. Okay, so now that I've loaded those locations, I do not have any barrier. Okay, so um I don't want to create any barrier anyway. But well, basically, I have. Do I have any settings? Let's see. Okay, the analysis setting. I want to either go by minutes or I want to go by length. So it depends on. But then let's go with minutes. And let's say we use a start time, and then we also days of the week is today, which is six or three. But start time, let's say it's two p.m let's say it's 2 p.m 2 2 
28 p.m. Okay, so um, let's allow everything, then we apply. Okay, so that's what we're gonna use. So we okay. I think network locations. Let's see. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. All these stops have been applied. There's no point barrier. None of those. Okay. So let's okay. So now, once we've done this, the next thing we'll do is we'll come here and we'll click solve. It's the weight of the um the weight of the road. Okay, so it has solved our road for us. The, the I don't know. Should we say the shortest road or the fastest road? Which anyone? But anyway, it has solved it for us. For okay, so um. You can see that it moves from point one to point two to point three. That is, it takes me to the shop right, which is our supermarket, and then to the hospital. Now, you click on the road. Now, the road it has given us, which is it's on uh, Nizamia Hospital Road. So it goes from Nikon to Nizamia Hospital. Okay, that's the name of the hospital. So if we right click on it now and ask for directions. Oh, it said the data set does not support driving directions. Okay, so it's from the data set. Okay, so I okay. You remember when we were creating this, I did not allow data set driving location. So when you're creating your data set, I remember now you must also allow driving look directions so i actually said no well i was creating the data set so it will not work for this but while you're creating your data set you can allow the driving directions okay so basically this is how you can know your shortest route or shortest distance and then you can also do that you can change this from uh you can make this to be number one then every other thing remains the same like uh, from hospital now to to the shop right and then to the sorry, I'm coming from hospital to the shop right and then to Nikon that's from there you want to come back the same uh, direction so if we calculate this again ah sorry I'm trying to move so if we calculate this now we solve it again you realize that it has changed the whole thing from number three to number one again so let's solve it and see so this is now one two three now sometimes you realize that the the time of uh, travels or the direction if from going let's say from where you started from the hotel to the shop right and then to the hospital you realize that when you invert the whole thing it may give you a different time of travels okay so basically this is how to do um neural and then i'll see you in the next video where we explore the other options for now bye bye